Hi there, so are you having low sounds when you receive notification on iPhone? Hi there, welcome back to the channel and today I will tell you how to solve the low sounds for incoming notifications. So without wasting any more time, let's go. First of all, you have to head over to your settings on iPhone and then you actually figure out some settings here. So let me just head over to my settings here and then you have to scroll down and you have to select the face ID and passcode. Enter your passcode here and now all you have to do, you gotta scroll down here and there's an option called attention aware feature make sure to disable this one from your iphone quickly after that you want to go back and open up your sounds and haptics and make sure that volume ringtone and alert should be all the way to high and make sure to disable change with buttons all right so once you've done that guys the next work that you really really want to do on your iphone you gotta head over to your accessibility settings on your iphone and then you have to scroll down and simply tap audio and visual make sure to disable mono audio especially if you see it's on on your phone so once you disable the mono audio here go and restart your iphone your problem is going to be solved right away now still if you guys have problems regarding the low sounds when you receive notifications then you can head over to your settings on iphone and this time all i want you guys to just turn up is nothing but that screen time scroll down and tap content and privacy restrictions and make sure to disable these features uh, pretty often this feature also can cause the problem so you can turn it off and go back here there's the last two things that you guys can actually do you can head over to your general and then you can um, look for the new software update sometime if the software has bugs or glitches then you might face the problem so make sure your phone is up to date now most likely you your problem is going to be solved for sure but if it's still a problem lastly you can go to your the transfer and reset iphone tap reset and select reset all settings even though doing this process will get your old settings back to default and will delete your Wi-Fi password, but it will not hurt your data. It means your your data is, is not going to be deleted, all right? So once you do this, I think your problem is going to be solved. Now, still, if you guys have any more questions to ask, please uh, let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.